so a very very good morning to you welcome along to eclipse motorcycles this bright sunny morning and we're looking at this this is the um renegade sport 125 cc we'll just have a quick look around the bike riding this again another road test from the customer from the front that very old-fashioned headlight cow which i do love and the um range obviously marked with that usa sticker liquid cooled machine on this one and you've got those nice big crash bars to the front on this one deep long silencer and those twin shocks and you've also got these grab rails to the back for your passenger but also make it very easy to pull the bike up onto its main stand and this one is in orange and this does look an exceptional color on this one so what we're going to do we're going to take this one out on the road and get some road mileage on it for you now obviously with these UMs, water cooled machine, very easy to see the coolant bottle down here and to do all your visual checks on the bike. Side stand and main stand and you've got those forward pegs as well. So very, very nice looking bike. Now obviously with the UM range there is a few things that are going on with them and I shall tell you about them very, very shortly. On the back of this bike you've got a nice seat rest for your rear pallium, pillion passenger as well. And just a question that has been brought up, what are these things on the side of the bike? These are your LED white lights, but they are only allowed in Asia or in foreign countries. They are not allowed in the UK because it is actually illegal to show a white light from the side of a vehicle. So they have been disabled for UK usage. With this one, you've got your main steering lock, which is situated just behind the steering, just here and your separate ignition key and then of course your fuel tank there so firing the bike up and then what you have you have your kilometers on the outside your speed miles an hour just on the inside so 11 o'clock is 40 12 o'clock is 50 one o'clock is 60 on this you've got your ignition indicator lights and your main beam light currently mileage on the bike is at 1.7 kilometers but i know that 32 kilometers is going to be 20 miles and obviously for the purposes of ride testing this one does not have the mirrors fitted we did pick up on a fault when it came in that the mirrors were the wrong ones they'd actually sent us a set of bar end mirrors that do not fit this bike they are for a totally different bike so the wrong mirrors have arrived with this bike I have got a warranty claim in already when the bike was taken out of the crate and I'm expecting the mirrors here in the next day or so. So we will get those fitted, but obviously for the purposes of ride testing, <coughs> I can ride without mirrors. It is not illegal to ride without mirrors. A lot of people said, why haven't you got mirrors? That is illegal. It is a total and utter myth. You do not need mirrors on a motorcycle. It does not make it exempt or illegal or uh, break the MOT regulations. So, like I always do, I tend to shoulder check rather than use mirrors anyway. I always say to people, never ever trust the mirrors on a bike. Always make sure you do your correct shoulder checks. Now, with the UM range, um, they have been discontinued by Lexmoto. There should be a new supplier that is due to come on the market soon for these. But obviously Lexmoto have decided not to stock the UM range anymore. And it's not to do with issues with the bike. These were our biggest selling bikes. The Sport, the Commando, the Renegade Commando, the Commando Classic and the Vegas were our biggest selling bikes. And it was just due to the fact that UM got a little bit greedy. And what they wanted to do was up the bike in price by quite a considerable amount of money which would have meant Lexmoto would have had to pass it on to the customer. And that would have priced this bike around about the three grand price with the, bus, the money that uh, UM are asking for their motorcycles. Now obviously no one would want to buy a 125 for just over three grand, especially not in a brand that is not that well established. So hence the reason why it was dropped by Lexmoto. There is a new supplier that is due to come on the market, but no one knows who they are at the moment. So good luck to UM. We wish them well, but I don't think they are going to be selling many bikes in the near future. So if you could get hold of one of these, you may be sitting on a little gold mine because obviously discontinued bikes tend to go up in price. 
So, best thing to do if you can't get one anywhere, just ring around every single Lexmodo dealer that you can find and ask them, have you got a UM in stock? Have you got absolutely anything in the UM range? Which is a shame because they made some lovely, lovely bikes. UM Scrambler, the UM DSR, absolutely love those bikes as well. So for the purposes of road testing, we're going to take this one out. And typical cruiser seating style, nice wide bars on this, very, very comfortable. But as I've said in numerous videos, countless videos, I am not a lover of either scooters or cruiser motorcycles. But this is a very, very nice seating possession. Feet forward, tucks the knees in nicely to the tank. And you do know that if you do have a spill that uh, those crash bars are going to protect your legs if the bike does go over while you're still on it. So a very, very good idea to have those crash bars on the bikes. Nice dipped seat on this as well for the rider. And the pillion passenger just is slightly higher as well. So a beautiful seating position on these. So what we're going to do, get a bit of mileage on this. Currently sitting around about 42, so I'm looking at my dash. And 11 o'clock, so I know I'm around about the 40 mile an hour mark. 40, 42 mile an hour mark for all road testing. It was in for PDIs very, very early this morning. That's been just uh, literally checked off by my QC technician. He's been in since about 6 o'clock this morning looking at this one. Levers in exactly the right position. He suggested the clutch up for me as well because he found the clutch biting point totally in the wrong place. So he suggested the clutch. Pulls through the gears for me, absolutely beautiful. No clonks. Nice and smooth through the gearbox as well. And it has been fully bolt checked for the customer. So as soon as I get back, I can do my report and say, yes, everything was all good, or I would need this, 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 and this. But at the moment, all I need is a set of mirrors. And then we've got one final bolt check to do, a final QC, and a final ride with me. And I tend not to uh, vlog up the final rides because it's literally about a mile, mile and a half just to do my final checks on this. So my main ride test is now, where I get the uh, 20 miles on the bike, or as near as I can to 20 miles, depending on uh, road conditions and how busy it is, because obviously today is a Saturday morning, so I'm out bright and early, 7 o'clock in the morning, like I always ride, because the roads are nice and quiet. And uh, just to bring you up with a couple of things that are going on with the page. Hopefully this video is going to be up Saturday night. But if you happen to be about on the Sunday and it will be on the Rev Bomb page, we are riding out from Eclipse Motorcycles tomorrow morning at 9am. And I have around about five bike bloggers joining me. So I've got New Biker joining me, I've got Rhythmic Biker joining me. We've also got Uncle Red, who's going to be bringing the Vulcan along. And also, hopefully, an appearance from Carlos from Gesto and Lane. I believe he is going two up on the back of a bike, but due to the fact that he's broken his arm. If you haven't seen Gesto and Lane's page, Carlos did have a spill on his bike. His bike is no longer a bike. It's completely written off, so... Carlos, get well soon, buddy. Hope to see you tomorrow. And we shall soon find out how he's getting on if we catch up with him tomorrow. I believe Emma's coming down, so Emma from Gaston and Lane is joining us as well. Now, obviously, with a couple of things that are going on, we've got the uh, Milton Keynes Bike Shows coming up end of September. So if you haven't seen the, the adverts for the Milton Keynes Bike Show, that's going to be at the Milton Keynes Stadium on a Sunday. We shall be there with the Lexmodo stand and all the bikes. And you can come along and meet RB. And have a look at some of our Lexmodo bikes. Also coming up, I'm going to be going a little bit further out of field. We've got the classic custom bike show, August the 18th, at the Bedford Rugby Club. And I shall also be taking a trip down to a place called Finchingfield to go and join a bike blogger by the name of Reevy. So I shall be going down, meeting up with Reevy. 
and then hopefully if I get chime during the day or I might have to do it another weekend I might have a venture down Portsmouth way and visit Spicy 110 and Hazelmere motorcycles so that's another thing that is on the books for me to do obviously I do go out and do a lot of uh, bike blogging and just make sure that I do my shoulder checks before I pull out so I will be going out quite a few rides and obviously tomorrow I've got uh, Shelley and Steph joining me again their two bikes came in yesterday and Shelley brought in Lexi, the ZSXF had a new main stand and a bulb fitted and Steph brought in his lads Ranger which we are doing a full restore on and that is all over the pages of Lex Motor Owners UK Shelley's posted a load of photos up now obviously uh, I don't normally give away my real name but there's a lot of people tagging me in saying oh my god is that Revbomb? yes it is um, I go under the name of uh, a certain actor which is actually my real name so if you know Doctor Who count back about two doctors you will uh, find my name but I use that that name for personal on my Facebook so please don't add me if you do want to follow me obviously I'll add me as Revbomb because I won't accept your invitation if you do try to add me on my personal Facebook that is for my family and friends that I know very very well only I tend to keep my private life very very quiet but uh, obviously being uh, RB I cannot comment as RB on the Lex Motor owners page so I have to comment in my real name as Doctor Who which is actually my real name not Doctor Who but the actor's name so you'll find who I am anyway but uh, I had a lot of people say to me how did you get that name it's my real name Doctor Who's real name is not his real name his name is actually David MacDonald and uh, I sold him my equity card when I used to work as a professional DJ so I gave up the DJing to come across back into this obviously I've been a biker all my life but I was also a professional DJ during my many years of uh, DJing, 40 years, and uh, radio, TV, etc. Hence why people say to me, you've got a very, very good talking voice. Due to the fact that I did shed loads of radio training and uh, spent quite a few years on Capital Gold. So, enough of me in my personal life. Let's get back to this bike. On the dashboard in front of me, just to the top left of the uh, LED screen you've got your gear indicator just below that is the fuel tank currently 10.2 kilometres on the bike running absolutely perfectly sitting at 42 miles an hour and this bike is absolutely beautiful as always lovely wide leg seating position on this so it does splay your legs quite a bit with this big tank but very very comfortable and we'll just do a quick reach on this, so my standard things, rideability obviously I'm not a lover of cruisers but this is nice, I'm going to give it 9 just for the fact that I don't like cruisers and I don't like this feet forward position, it is very unnatural to me so we're just going to shift over the lane, go back, back round and down the other side of your carriage by I am, while I'm nattering away to you so I'm going to give it 9 on the rideability but if you like cruisers, it's lovely. It does a job. Affordability, 2249 on these, plus you're on the road, so just under two and a half grand for a liquid called 125. Obviously this one's priced at, I think it was 2099, because they dropped the price on this. So the price on this is very, very nice. Just short of 23 on this one comfort I can't fault the comfort it is a very very comfortable bike arm position feet legs knees hands toes and everything absolutely perfect and the seat is very very comfortable steers perfectly around these corners <coughs> comfort is good handling exceptional again can't fault it absolutely perfect does what it says so very very happy with this so overall I'm going to give it a 49 out of 50 
can't fault it. The only thing, obviously, I don't like about this bike is the fact that it's a cruiser. That is my bad point. It's a cruiser. It's feet forward. I don't like the upright arms. But as a ride, you know, it is comfortable. I will say this bike is very, very comfortable. It's just that I've got very years and years of being just laid over a tank, feet tucked up right behind me, arms tucked in against the tank, head down behind the bubble. I'm used to sports bikes. So it's just personal preference, guys. Some people's uh, idea of a, a perfect machine is some people's, oh my God, I can't stand it. A lot of people do not like the ride position on my Kawasaki. Simple fact is you are splayed right over that tank. And especially I've had the rear sets move back about two inches as well, just to give me an extra little bit of lean angle. <coughs> but upright, perfect. You're not going to get a bad back on this. Now with mine, I tend to get wrist ache, bad back, bad knees, bad ankles after about 25 miles. Just the simple fact that is all the weight is on those arms. But I can't fault this UM. So what we're going to do now, we're going to uh, wind up the video because obviously this was for the customer's purposes, just to see his bike being ridden and just to get an idea of what it runs like and then we shall cut back in very very shortly just obviously just run you through the controls very very quickly on this before we say goodbye right hand controls down the bottom, you've got your start button to the bottom you've got a hazard light switch just above that where your lights would normally be and then the kill button over on the left hand controls, all in the normal place, so horn to the bottom, indicators, main beam, dip beam, and then just to the back of the left hand switch gear, you've got the pass light as well, so this one has a pass light, or a headlamp flash as some call it. And obviously on this one, electric start only, there is no kickstart. Because someone commented on the uh, Lexamoto owner's page when he said, I've bought a bike, what is why have they got a hand starter on it what do you mean a hand starter the hand crank no there's a there's a bar that sticks out the right hand side that you push down with your hand it's not a hand starter it's a kick starter you put your foot on it and um, turned out never ever bought a bike knows absolutely nothing about the bike and he hasn't even got a cbt or a driving license or insurance yet and wanted to take it out on the road so uh, Less to comment on that, so you do get the odd numpty that decides to uh, troll the posts. But uh, we're going to wind up here, <coughs> get some mileage on the bike, and I'll cut back in when we're doing the final part of the urban. So I'll see you guys shortly. So we're just coming back off the uh, dual carriageway now into the urban mileage. Currently, it's coming up for 30 kilometres on the bike, absolutely zero issues rise as it should, suspension is lovely and soft handling absolutely superb no issues at all with the bike and a nice steady 40 mile an hour so absolutely zero defects apart from getting these mirrors put on which should be done in the next couple of days the bike is through its first Ride test all good and absolutely zero issues. So this is the uh, UM Renegade Sport in orange 125cc liquid cooled bike. And what gorgeous little machine this is. And obviously UM discontinued range but if you can get one or if you manage to get hold of one of these for a dealer you're sitting on a little gold mine because being discontinued it's going to go up in price. So as usual, if you enjoyed the video, hit the uh, the like button, give us a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, it's your opinion, I really don't mind. Do what you like. Most of my videos are for the purposes of showing customers, so and obviously just showing you guys what these bikes ride like. And don't forget, smash the hell out the notifications bell. That will tell you when my next video is coming up. I appreciate the follows, I appreciate the likes, and I do enjoy reading all the comments. Thank you very much for the comments, even if it is negative ones. You really appreciate it, at least that shows that you've watched it and uh, you've given your own uh, individual feedback. So thank you very much for that. 
as usual, all the moto vloggers that I follow, bottom of every YouTube video, have a reel through some of them bikers, see what they say. And of course, if you are into Lex Moto or you're looking for a motorcycle, Eclipse Motorcycles 01908 643 603. Give the guys a call. You'll probably end up speaking to me anyway. All the social media, as I always say, on my page, revbomb.co.uk. Main page, down the bottom, link to the Eclipse Motorcycles website, eclipsemotorcyclesmk.co.uk. Facebook page is there as well as a link to the Facebook page and of course you can call the guys 01908 643 again. All my social media is on the social media page. That was a big pothole. And it soaked it up well. Didn't rattle the teeth there. But I say all the social media is on my social media page. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook and YouTube. I pop across, uh, just get an idea of my daily life at the garage and of course don't forget the merch shop as well so that if you fancy a Red Bomb t-shirt hoodie phone cover etc etc there's loads of stuff in my merch shop I make about a pound on everything so I don't make a lot of money on what I sell but it's nice to see you guys uh, buying the t-shirts and we have sold about 30 in the last month as well. So the Red Bomb t-shirt is going out all around the world. Especially all you guys in America that are buying them. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. And obviously the prices that are shown on the merch store do include VAT and postage. So the price you see is the price you pay. And it's normally about 5 to 10 days to get those out as long as I have them in stock, but I am selling very, very quickly. But finishing it off, UM Renegade, Sport in a 125, orange, liquid cooled. Hope you enjoyed the video. Till the next time, guys, be well, ride safe, and it's a big goodbye from me.